Hey guys, Scott from the RecordingSolution.com. Today I want to shoot a quick tutorial on ratio on a compressor. Now I have a bunch of videos breaking down uh, compressors and all detailed explanation of all the knobs and uh, what everything does and how to approach it. But today I want to focus just on the ratio. So rule of thumb is lower ratio means less compression. Higher ratio means more compression. This one only has like 1, 1.5 to one up to like 10 to one but a lot of compressors can go up to infinity almost so 30 to 1 40 to 1 50 to 1 you're kind of getting into the limiting or you are getting into the limiting uh, area and above you're pretty much limiting the audio I'm not gonna talk about limiting today but I want you to think about ratio and how to approach it and what to think about on a track by track basis this is on a vocal this is from my buddy uh, King Tonio he's a rapper out of San Antonio Texas He's actually my old guitar player's cousin, and he's killing it on the local rap scene and spread. He's it's good. It's awesome. Uh, check it out. King Tonio. This is a song, What You Need. But uh, here's a vocal track. Let me play it without this uh, compressor. All right, this is just a trim plug-in. This is just some EQ rolling off all the way up to like 86 hertz to get some of that low, mu uh, low frequencies out of the vocal that you can't hear anyway and just muddies up the track. So that's all that's going on. Um, I'm going to... Turn this compressor off right there, and here's the track. Yeah, you know they love it, no wordplay. Treat it like ball play, they gon' do ball sex. Yeah. Now, when I turn this on, you're gonna hear it added a lot of volume, but that's just a volume. But you're gonna see, listen for the energy at the lower ratio, like one to five. Just listen for the, how the words cut through and just the energy of the vocal. That's what I want you to focus on is the energy. And then I'm gonna... I'll let it play like twice and then I'll bump it up to 8 or 10 to 1 ratio and then listen how it's very subtle so if you can't hear hear it right away uh, just play it back over and over again and, and listen you gotta train your ears to hear the stuff I'm still training my ears but it's you're gonna hear the dynamics go away so lower ratio means more dynamics higher ratio probably means less time less dynamics and just taming that vocal as opposed to letting things breathe and and uh, sound more natural so on a vocal you could argue that you probably want a uh, lower ratio but that's depending on the song depending on what you want and the feel that you want on a track by track basis it doesn't have to be just on a vocal it can be on snares whatever um, so think about using ratio in those ways like do I need less uh, more dynamics with the lower ratio or do, do I need less dynamics with the higher ratio so that's what, what the way I want you to think about it so let's get to the music I'm going to play it at 1.5, do it twice so you can um, get your ears used to the way it's sounding, the energy, and then I'm going to bump it up real fast to like 10, point, 10 to 1 ratio and just compare the two. I'll do it a couple times, all right? So here we go. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they going to do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they going to do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they going to do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they gon' do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they gon' do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they gon' do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they gon' do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they gon' do what the boss say. Damn, you know they loving the wordplay. Treat it like fall play, they gon' do what the boss say. All right. Now, with the lower ratio, you're going to get a little bit less compression, so it's going to sound maybe a little bit louder. But with the higher ratio, you get more compression, so it's just squashing those peaks a little bit more. Um, I hope you heard it. Again, rewatch it. And I just wanted to just show you that little example of, so like on a vocal track for this one in rap, it's all about the lyrics and the vocal delivery. So... I probably would go with a smaller ratio to make sure that energy is there and, and the performance that King Tonio is delivering and not just squash it and over compress it and too much ratio. Okay? So try that messing around with ratios um, low or high on your next vocal or whatever it is you're trying to do and think about that when you're approaching a compressor. So. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, please. Hit the bells. I don't even know what the bells mean. I've been told to tell you to hit the bells on YouTube. I think it helps you see the video. I have no clue. Um, hit the bells and subscribe. 
go to the recording solution.com. There's some free tools there. Right now we have an EQ chart. Gets a starting point of where to boost or cut frequencies to clear things up. EQ is, in my opinion, the most important. I'm working on some audio giveaway stuff. But there's a bunch of free uh, blog posts and videos like this on all things recording and mixing on the site that you can go check out right now. Um, subscribe, watch the videos that I post after this. Share, tell your friends and your family. And uh, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Scott from the recordingsolution.com. See you next time.